It's supposed to be crown jewel in the racing calendar, welcoming members of the royal family and high flyers from all over the world. But this year, Royal Ascot appears to have lost its shine. Despite dressing up to the nines to visit the Berkshire Racecourse, guests looked like they were staggering from a nightclub as opposed to attending a historic meet, which dates back all the way to 1711. Having made it past security in their finest fascinators and smart suits, members of the public let loose once they got into the stands. On the first day of racing on Tuesday, two women were pictured swigging straight from booze bottles as they soaked up the atmosphere of the races. What's more, another was seen hunched over a wall with her head in her hands as she recovered from a full-on day at the sporting event. In an attempt to get more comfortable, the race goer opted to go barefoot and held her high heels in one hand. Meanwhile, one man was also seen leaving Ascot barefoot and on crutches. Flouting the dress code, the man, who was joined by a glamorous trio of women, had unbuttoned his shirt, undone his tie, and also lost his jacket. Although the trio of women he was with still looked suitably glamorous, his male friend had also undone his tie, a move which clearly violates Ascot's clothing policy. Dot later in the day, another woman was seen enjoying a quick cigarette while sitting on the pavement outside the racecourse. On top of this, one guest's enormous leg tattoo certainly turned heads during her afternoon at the races on Tuesday. Dot the eye-catching inking, on the back of her knee, was of a woman being gagged in the bedroom with a hand around her neck. However as the woman was wearing a knee-length frock, the device of inking didn't violate the dress code. What's more, the races proved to be too much for one barefooted female fan, who had to be carried home over one man's shoulder. As Ladies' Day drew to a close on Thursday, one woman was pictured being sick outside of the premises, after presumably a full day of drinking. Unlike Cheltenham, Aintree, and Epsom, Ascot is one of the only sporting events which still has a strict dress code in place. Ladies are required to wear formal day wear, meaning dresses have to fall just above the knee and straps knee to one inch or wider. The men's dress code is even more rigid, with black, grey or navy morning suits made compulsory for guests in the royal enclosure. On the Royal Ascot website, the organizers have outlined their behavioral code as a warning to new visitors. Dot it reads, drunkenness rowdy behavior or intimidating other members, their guest and staff will not be tolerated. Dot that they go on to state that they reserve the right to remove people who are engaging in behavior which may disrupt or impair the experiences of other attendees. Dot although the royal enclosure remains a members only space, Members of the public can visit the Queen Anne enclosure, with tickets starting £49.